Hey, what's up everybody? Dan here, TechFit360. Now for those of you who are still charging your iPhone 10 the old fashioned way, I have something for you. Not new on the market, but it is new to me. Today on the channel, I'll be looking at the Samsung wireless convertible charger. I like to keep my videos short, sweet, and complete. With that being said, let's go learn things. <laughs> Now, can I be honest with you? I forgot about the fact that the iPhone 10 supports wireless charging, I guess due to the fact that iPhones never had that feature until recently. So after checking out a few wireless charging devices, I decided on the wireless charging convertible by Samsung. Now I'm gonna read the features straight off the box. First of all, I'd like to point out that it supports a wireless charging on Qi compatible smartphones. So that includes your Galaxy S8, your Galaxy Note 8, uh, the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and of course, the iPhone 10. All right, so inside the box, there's the charging pad. Wait, let's start with the fast wall charger right here, along with the USB-C cable all decked out in black. The good tech dressed in black, remember that. All right, now we have the charging pad, which is made out of a leather-like material with fast charge printed horizontally in the middle. As you can see here, it's very easy to convert it from a pad to a stand position or a standing position. You also will not encounter any issues with this charger sliding around your desk because it has a rubber base. On the rear, you will find the USB-C charging port. Now, one thing I didn't know until purchase is that this charger has a built-in cooling fan to control the temperature during fast charging. Now, I know you've all been there trying to plug your lightning cable into your phone and then suddenly it falls behind your desk and then you're on your knees searching for a cable, finding all kinds of crap in the process, or using an additional stand to place your phone in landscape mode to do some video binge watching at your desk. Come on now, don't make me feel like it's just me. This charging pad solves all those problems and it looks good while it's doing it. Now, every time it's in the stand position, I have no issues with it initiating a charge. But if I don't lay it just right in the pad position, it will not charge. But you'll know whether it's charging or not by the LED light plus the sound notification. On another note, make sure your smartphone case is not too thick because you may experience a charging issue. I'm using the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case for the iPhone 10, and I haven't had any problems with it charging whatsoever. Now, after an hour charging plugged in, my iPhone advanced from 57% all the way up to 97%. After an hour charged in wirelessly, it advanced from 66% to 80%. So if you're in a hurry, then plugging up your phone is definitely the way to go. So in my humble opinion, even though this wireless charger is a little pricey at $58, I'm going to give it the TechFit360 thumbs up. In the comment section below, let me know if you use a wireless charger. Also include the brand in case there are others looking to buy one. And this one is just a little bit too expensive for them. Thanks for hanging out with me guys and ladies. I can't forget the ladies. Please give me the thumbs up if you found this video helpful in any way. And also subscribe to the TechFit360 YouTube channel and be a part of the TechFit360 crew. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.